games to go, a title to be won. We could do this. And welcome back to Clop Out with me, that's Benji FM, for the final episode of this series. And this, then, is the situation... I've gone! The situation we find ourselves in. I'm back! The situation we find ourselves in. We are just three points behind Manchester United, who lead the table right now. And with a 10-plus goal difference, you might think this is going to be impossible, but no, not quite. Since we last met, one game was played. It was a 3-1 win over West Ham. Goals from Luis Diaz, Jude Bellingham, and Mohamed Salah getting us the win. A lovely goal from Uwe Dia for West Ham at the very very end but it means we go into the final two games of the season with the slimmest of chances and you join me actually on the saturday before our match day because manchester united play a home old trafford to manchester city and they probably know that if they win that game or even draw it they stand themselves in very good stead to win the league but and i hope if they lose it this is on um so what we're gonna do i thought we'd continue this bit together we're gonna find out together if they're gonna do it or not uh, we won't be doing our pre-match press conference we sit a little way behind them we're definitely gonna finish second which if we look at liverpool season as it is right now in real life it's not looking great. So am I doing a better job, job than Jürgen Klopp? Potentially so, but I did sign Jude Bellingham. But I also decided to play Jordan Henderson at right back all year. So that's the that's the lesson we've learned. As uh, the game then is going to continue on a little bit. If City win, this really does open up to us as well. The news is in our inbox. The big story is that Manchester United did indeed drop points, which means then as we play at home at Anfield against Arsenal, of course, we beat their North London rivals Tottenham very handedly last episode. If you didn't, if you missed the 10 goal thrill of last episode, I do recommend the joyous time of seeing so many goals fly in. We then have to battle then against uh, an Arsenal side that, again, are, are not, not as good as us. You would argue 10 games lost this season, but finishing in a very respectable fifth as things stand. Probably going to finish there come the end of the year. And the final day then, we could start up for ourselves. We play Nottingham Forest away, whereas Manchester United travel to West Ham. Who we just beat so can we can we best the best of ronaldo and harland this season and win this league well let's introduce you to the team for the game against arsenal and find out so then there's the lineup as you might expect it then the big switch we've made in the last in the last couple of games we saw how good his performance was in that game against west ham is jude bellingham coming in uh trent was struggling for fitness a little bit we brought jude in but because of how well jude played i feel like we shouldn't really drop him so trent is actually gonna start from the bench, of course, offers us great versatility from there. Diaz, Salah and Nunes have been stars this season, all getting 20 goals in various competitions. Trent himself is 11, by the way. Great goal scoring from him. But let's go with this team then and see how it does. Van Dijk and Canal take the back. The other, the other conversation actually is Andy Robertson, but he's suspended, as is Fabinho. So Thiago playing in that ball-winning role. 15 tackling, though. Actually an underrated part of his game. I remember in that final year at the Bundesliga with Bayern Munich. So I think Thiago had some of the best tackle stats in that league. So let's see how we fare then as we go into this one. Again, a, a side that have just beaten West Ham pretty comfortably can we do the same at home to Arsenal and again if the Tottenham game's anything to go by we've got a chance certainly a chance Salah gets in the African 11 of the year which is not really a surprise to anyone all right then to give ourselves a chance at the title we can take this to the final day but we have to win otherwise it's kind of dream over and what we'll do at the end of the video is we'll sort of take our thoughts away from the beta so far of course i've played quite a lot on stream as well uh i've played a fair amount of this season and when i say fair amount i mean the whole season so we'll talk about what we think of the beta so far and of course as this video comes out the game releases today so you'll be watching this as the game is fully out properly out there for everyone as uh here we go then arsenal playing jesus up front El Nene next to odegaard in the center martinelli and saka familiar look for this, to this arsenal side as i say they're fifth but we are nearly 30 points ahead of them so you're going into this one again not even ahead of tottenham so it should be if football managers told me anything a routine defeat so i'm looking forward to it all right first highlight of the game we'll go with it as it was flicked on wonderfully by salah but gabriel gets there first it was a really nice header uh flicked on but it didn't quite get to its target henderson taking the throws it's it's not even been that weird seeing henderson at right back he's not been that bad at all as jude bellingham nips in plays in darwin nunez Oh, who should definitely score. Six minutes in, Ramsdale makes himself very, very big. And uh, yeah, Darwin Nunes puts it wide of the goal. Nice to see Salah, Diaz and Bellingham starting off the game well. And we seem to be on top in the game so far at the very least. As Lewis Diaz picks that up on that side. Saka does well to win it off him. And so far I've seen nothing of Arsenal. And Diaz wins the ball back brilliantly. That's what he does. Presses from the front. Goes for goal himself. Shoots just over. And it remains at 0-0. 15 minutes in. We have a highlight that starts with a Ramsdale goal kick. Played short and launched forwards. 
towards Simakas. Not known for his area ability, I wouldn't say, but does very well there. And Kamavinga, the lone E, knocks on after a dramatic deadline day acquisition. Kanate comes across and covers for Henderson. And now he's going to play a ball forward as he is. He finds and looks for Mo Salah, but doesn't actually find him as Inchenko's there. But Salah, oh, they could have pressed potentially and get on get in on him there. As the ball up to this side, I mean, it's a difficult one for Martinez to deal with. As Bellingham's ball is unbelievably good. And the finish from Nunez is just as good. The ball from Bellingham, actually. No, I say the finish is just as good. No chance. The finish is nothing on, on the pass. The pass is incredible. Watch it again from behind their goal, I imagine. You can see the ball to Martinelli is not particularly good. But that from Bellingham, whip, bend, all sorts on it. Wonderful stuff. Beats Ramsdale, who's captain in Arsenal today. And uh, yeah, 1-0 up, 18 minutes in. And this middle this middle graphic in a moment will change to the league table just so you can see where we stand as Odegaard looks to Martinelli. He just about keeps it in and plays a very quick ball and Canate goes to ground. And they're going to look at this. And much like, well, he's pointing to the spot. So I assume they've given it, have they, the penalty? They might look over this again. Much like we had yesterday, I don't really know if this is a penalty or not based on the challenge that was made. No penalty. Wow. I guess they won't show a replay for that. But it looked to me like Canate got the ball. And, well, that's been decided that he did, so which is good. As, again, another highlight goes Arsenal's way, maybe. Zinchenko, a little bit of hold-up play as he cuts inside. Gabriel lifts one forward, but no, Arsenal not willing to chase it. And Simakas is going to get all the time in the world to bring this forward. And trot forward he does, over the halfway line. To Lewis Diaz, he beats his man. The sliding challenge, nowhere near him. Salah, miles out, but on that left foot, who knows what he can do. Scored a screamer yesterday. Henderson into Salah. Fouled, but it's fallen to Diaz, who knocks it in. It would have been a penalty, but it's a 23rd goal of the season for Lewis Diaz. It's Liverpool 2, Arsenal nil. And if you're Arsenal now, you've got to be worried. Will we break the record set against Tottenham? Probably not. But who knows? Henderson is a wonderful delivery in, by the way. Causes not only a foul for a penalty, but the assist for Luis Diaz. And Liverpool are 2-0 up. And that's what we're talking about. Arsenal so far yet to register even a shot on target as Thiago's corner is whipped in towards that near post and there could be we could be setting up here a dramatic final day which makes me very excited Van Dijk's touch there is very poor wins it back Nunes from distance oh it could have gone in Salah free kick 39 minutes gone Canate and we had Arsenal really threatening very little and we look dangerous every time you have an attack the shots the XG Arsenal yet to register even a solitary shot as we go in at half time 2-0 up and um it's been pretty dominant. There's nothing to change. I mean, 45 minutes, unbelievable. 45 minutes to go. I mentioned before we'd bring the league table up so we can take a look at it. We'll do it after this highlight as Henderson throws it into the feet of Salah. And this team took them a little while to get going at the start of the year. Again, we obviously changed a big thing by putting Henderson where he was and bringing uh, Trent into midfield. But wow, it's really shone in the second half of this year. It's been really, really effective. Once they got to grips with the positions, it's been really good. As Elneny drives forward here, though, as I big it up, Jesus with lots to do from there. And Alisson claims that without bother and lays it off to Canate quickly as he releases Liverpool once again. Maybe for another attack. I mean, the highlight's over. Let's bring up this league table then. As you pause ever so slightly, 90 points, one behind, going into the final day, which will force United to better whatever we do. Whereas we know if we win and United don't, then it could happen. I realise the, the shot we just saw for Arsenal was a shot on target. Annoying. All right, we've got about 20 minutes to go with a 2-0 lead. I'm going to get Kamavinga off for Trent in just a quick change in the centre of the pitch. Nothing, nothing major. And um, it's going to force... A free kick to Arsenal, though, as they lay it forward. I mean, it might be the worst free kick in the history of football. Jude Bellingham races forward, finds Nunes, who we know, once he gets up and running, is incredibly difficult to stop. Players on the edge of the box in support. If he can find one, he does. Salah, I don't know how he's not scored. It seemed for all the world like he would. It was a great run from Nunes, by the way. So dangerous. Thiago on the free kick. Lifts one in towards goal and onto the top of the netting. The net the net moves really nicely. If, if we to give our brief thoughts on the beta so far, then the net moves well. So, uh, you know, no need to fix that. All right, Simicas with a throw in on that far left-hand side into the feet of Trent. Finds Lewis Diaz at a place he loves to shoot, but he finds Bellingham. Goodness me. Jude Bellingham makes it 3-0. There's a lovely strike from Jude. Proving, I think, for once and for all, he would definitely fit into this Liverpool side perfectly. And in real life, when this happens, we can look back at this and think, well, at least they took my advice. Great finish from Jude arriving late. Ramsdale can't stop it. And 3-0. The goal difference... It's not quite enough. I'm just considering a situation where if, if United lose on the final day and we we uh, we would hang on, hang on, let me figure this out. If United lose heavily and we draw, then who knows? The goal defense might play a part. But look at that, 30 shots, a dominant display. This tactic 
really cooking. I'll make it, what I'll do is with this tactic, actually, I'll make this very tactic, which is altered a little bit from what you might originally believe the Gegen Press to be. Uh, and I'll put this on the Steam Workshop for those that want it especially if it's title winning that'll make it a lot more exciting or i'll have to call it i finished second with liverpool here's the tactic which is nowhere near as impressive right a week to go then before we play forest uh, just to look at this then west ham who are 10th in the league that's where united have to go and, and play their game and whereas we play forest who are bottom of the table and down so <sighs> all right then we can hold a team meeting do i want, I, don't, I don't know if i want to okay we'll do it anyway I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tell them to go out and make sure we make the most of any slip-ups, which, as a Liverpool fan, is a difficult thing to say ever. So, so there we go then. Forest away. 20th. I mean, the reality is here. Even though it's the first save of the year, to do something special on the final episode, or the final day of the first series, or basically, I want to win. That's what I'm getting at here, chat. Okay, the question is... Because we've been so good in the last few games, is do you bring Fabinho and Andy Robertson back in, or do you just have them start from the bench and just see what happens? I feel like that's what you have to do. You have to just wait and see, and then change it if we need to. But the team that's playing like this right now has been so good. The one change I'm going to make, I'm actually going to bring in Trent, move Bellingham over, just because the season started with the Henderson Trent combination, and that's frankly, viewers, how I want it to end. Having Thiago taking things from a deeper area, we know he loves a volley as well. We'll let him sit there for now but here we are then away at forest we'll of course keep a close eye on what happens at the london stadium with west ham and we need them to do something magical if we win our game we put the pressure on cristiano ronaldo and manchester united and we could snatch away the title at the very last well let's hope so hopefully no one texts liverpool fans to let them know they might be winning the league because we know what happened with that once before wait for official word that's what i would do i realize we can't see the latest scores um irritatingly so i'm going to make sure we've got that when we come back because that today is the most important factor so let's keep an eye on that as an early forest chance i flipping hope not again all of the transfers they've made they've got relegated which um leaves them in a bit of a pickle i would imagine but they can obviously leave their mark on the Premier League today by upsetting Liverpool as they keep the ball quite nicely here. Play forward though, Van Dijk covers well. And now Jordan Henderson from right back. The thing we all dreamed of, viewers, can I say? Back into Jay Henderson. As, uh, I guess he's a Jay Henderson because Dean Henderson's in goal for them today as Trent plays it all the way back to Virgil. We've got them both playing naturally in those roles. So that's really nice. We saw that it took about, I don't know, 25 games or so to get there. There's Jesse Lingard, of course, trying to do his old club a favour. Ball played over the top. They're in on, in on goal, perhaps, maybe. Lots of work to be done from there. Henderson goes to cover. Lottie whips a ball in. And there's Johnson with a chance that goes behind for a corner. About eight minutes in here. And Forrest, so far, look the most likely, which is terrifying. As uh, the ball's going to be played in by Scarpa on that far side gustavo scarpa great name lifted to the walls of that post lewis diaz gets it away and i think that as is my experience shows viewers will be that there you are look. as the goal first goal goes in luca dean for Aston villa away at bournemouth nothing to play for at the bottom of the table of course there might be some champions league spots still up for grabs i'm not quite sure i don't think arsenal can do it can they so that looks like that's been settled as a goal here then we've put us to the top of the league as darby nunez rushes in on goal we saw the worst free kick earlier. I think we've just seen the worst shot ever. What was that? Terrible, terrible stuff. Uh, just to check then, as Fulham go 1-0 up away at Everton. Um, oh, there's a battle on. Chelsea and Leeds and Aston Villa all fighting for that European spot. If Chelsea and Leeds both lose, well, uh, if Chelsea lose, oh no, there's been a goal. Aston Villa, not Aston Villa, Manchester United and Rafael Varane, there's been a goal and they lead. So do Leeds, so do Manchester City, but it's the goal at London Stadium that matters most. Although, there might be a goal here if we're not careful. Every highlight seems to start with Forrest looking quite dangerous, which again is very terrifying. They're keeping the ball really well. We're not able to get a proper grip on them at all in this game. As they're keeping it nicely, Nico Williams, of course, formerly of Liverpool, on that side, not looking to do his old club any favours as it's played in. Canate gets it clear, but they do really well. Keep the ball alive in there, cleared away again. Nunes has got a big job to do. Find Salah. Wow, that is a one, two and a half. Goodness me, from distance, it's looping. Oh, Dean Henderson does well. What a one, two that is. That is ridiculous scenes. What am I watching? Ball lifted forward by Dean Henderson. Trent picks it up now in midfield and he plays a brilliant ball similar to Bellingham and it hits Dean Henderson and goes behind Salah. That was an absolute sitter, said the text commentary and I'm inclined to agree with him. Salah then to be playing in a corner from this side. Cleared away quite comfortably and if history tells me anything, viewers, unless Darwin Nunes scores from there. Okay, yeah, that's probably going to be that. 
All right, then West Ham. Admittedly, we're not winning yet. So that might be an unfair amount of pressure to put on you. But a goal for West Ham and things get really exciting as the heat map <laughs> appeared before the screen. Um, I don't think there's anything I've changed, really. We're on top of the game, dominating. It's just whether we can break down the five at the back at Forest. Uh, these fans have been fantastic for us all season. Go out there and give them what for. Right. Very happy with how we've played so far. But we really do need a goal. I'm trying to, trying to keep the mood positive in camp. A West Ham goal. And suddenly things get very, very interesting. Although Ronaldo statistically will score at some stage. I realize I've got my headphones back on today. So I look like I'm an old school Dr. Benji creator. As uh, half an hour to go, I mean, we're seeing absolutely nothing. It's finally a highlight. But once again, a highlight going the way of Nottingham Forest. As the ball's played inside, Karate. And that uh, goes forward again. Johnson's in. A Forest goal might seal this, by the way. Flipping heck. Very, very dangerous. All we need is a little Mikel Antonio goal. Over there is Bruno Fernandes. Misses a penalty. It is the tide turning, viewers. We talked about some changes we might make at some point in this game. Well, I'm going to move Thiago forward. I'm going to bring Fabinho on. I'm going to get Andy Robertson on as well. And with the way that Nunes has played up front today, we're going to get Roberto Firmino on as well. Potentially for his final game in Liverpool Cup colors as we do need this now again if a west ham goal goes in and we don't win that is so much more painful than us just not doing it as the game oh my god skamaka scored okay that's terrible because now we're not winning we need some last minute drama from someone i might bring camavinga on for bellingham who's not had a very good game at all um i think i think we're gonna do it camavinga comes oh no 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 not for bellingham sorry for, for tiago who's had a pretty quiet game i should say so on comes camavinga i don't think there's any more changes at this stage that i would make maybe jota for luis diaz he's had a very very quiet game i'm gonna do it we're gonna make all the changes possible to us we're gonna stay attacking we're gonna demand more from the boys and is there a moment for us i don't want the game to go too fast we're gonna have to we're gonna have to push players forward i think that seems like the logical step here henderson to go forwards the likes of do you know what i think we'll do trent to go in as the 10 inexplicably henderson to move into midfield fabinho at right back and here we go then but actually i don't know we've got to stick stick to what we're stick to the roots right now push this on now we need something magical to happen direct passing working into the box still passing into space as much no not as much i think we try and keep it create one chance that's what we need. High tempo play, quite direct. Is there a moment for us? It's going to start with a free kick at least to Duncan Forrest and Renan Lodi in as much space as he could possibly want. But Fabinho wins it back. And can we now build something all the way from here? Andy Robertson as he trundles forward as the league title is in the balance towards Diogo Jota, who's just come on, remember. So fresh legs. Him and Robertson on this side. Hopefully give us a little bit more energy as it's given away by Jota. And Gibbs White tracing forward and Johnson holds it up. And the ball plays forwards in behind Virgil van Dijk and it could be over oh it's over the bar okay it's not quite done but it's not looking good with three minutes to go we are desperately in search of a goal here and, and is it and is it going to come I mean we'll, we'll do what we'll do we'll push all these boys forward advance forwards everywhere let's push them right on and let's just see is there to be one final moment? There might just be, viewers. I think the result at West Ham is still as it was when we left it. I think it's still 1-1. Interception. Camavinga. Surely not. Not from there. Camavinga, the low knee. It's flicked up. Oh, my word. Dean Henderson claims it. There's about two minutes left to go. And the highlight's over. And the game's over. And I think... Oh, my God. No, I think West Ham won. We haven't started off with a bottle job. Against bottom of the league. Don't tell me it's this way. I think that's what's happened, right? How did you make the final match? It was a pretty special way to end the season. I've lied completely. As we lose the title on goal difference. And I couldn't beat Forrest on the final day. <laughs> I'm going to have to call, I'm going to have to call the tactic lost the title on goal difference with Liverpool to United. Oh, dear, oh dear. Can beat Tottenham, can smash Arsenal, but not, 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 a, not a, look at the state of that. Draws against Leeds and Forest have done me. We have, we haven't won it. We haven't won it. <gasps> the game against United where we lost four three. Oh no, I was, I was two 0 up and cruising in that one as well. Ah. Oh. It's a new game, but it's the same me, isn't it? So there we are then. The league title does not go the way of Liverpool and it returns to Old Trafford for the first time in what must be 30 years. Devastated, to be honest. What a shame. I mean, what a way it would have been to get it to get it over the line, but no, it wasn't to be. 
as Manchester United then are crowned champions. And that concludes the, se the season in the series. What a few games. What a few episodes to just round this series off. Unbelievable. And there wasn't much between the two of us going into future seasons. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Oh, what a disaster. All right, then. Well, you win some and you lose some. That brings us to the end of the series. Hopefully, you enjoyed this little beta run that we've had with Liverpool. And, um, yeah, I look forward to reading your comments that include the words bottle and job. What do I think of the beta so far? Or well, it's over now. Well, I think of the beta. I think the phrase work in progress springs to mind. And I'm looking forward to playing a bug-free game. Please. See you soon.